Hello everybody, welcome back to the uh, not so daily Vivaldi edit uh, these days. Um, today's concerto is an unusual concerto in that the sole source uh, survives in the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. The source is uh, autograph in Vivaldi's own handwriting and it appears that it was uh, the seventh of a set of concertos. Um, the concerto isn't available anywhere online, but um, a few years back I uh, had the fortune to pick up uh, this, uh, which uh, published in 1947 uh, by the Centre the Center for Vivaldi Studies at the Accademia Chigiana in Siena. Um, Olga Rudge, who was um, a very, very important figure in the revival, in the Vivaldi revival back in the early 20th century, uh, did some really, really wonderful work, um, including uh, taking a copy of the concerto uh, of E584, I think, 584 or 583, um, that was really badly damaged during the war, but she managed to get to the concerto before the war, so we have a decent copy of it, very fortunate. Um, the Academia Kijana um, decided to publish some uh, a, a selection of uh, Vivaldi's works, and this is one of them. Um, so you can see it's, uh, it's slightly falling to bits because it's very old, but uh, there, there it is. There is the manuscript. Uh, Concerto del Vivaldi, absolutely standard. Um, you can see, just see uh, number seven. Concerto del Vivaldi, um, really standard titling for, for sort of Vivaldi concertos in the um, 1730s, late 1720s. And very, very interesting. If you look over here, it says R. Fitzwilliam, 1768. And that is this chap here. Richard Fitzwilliam, 7th Viscount Fitzwilliam of Merion. Um, and it was his son that bequeathed a huge amount of stuff to the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, to, oh, to, the, to Cambridge University that became the Fitzwilliam Museum, this manuscript being among the collection. Um, regarding the music, it's an absolutely brilliant piece. Um, one doesn't... I've never heard anybody play it, but it's, it's, it's really, really, really nice. Incredibly, incredibly sunny. Um, here is the... Opening Ritonello. It's a sort of classic, um, classic example of his of his late violin concertos, and, and certainly um, it, it it's it's quite quite tricky in in many places. Um, you can see you can tell this by the number of times that uh, Vivaldi writes um, standard modern notation now to to have an eight VA to show that um, to show to show that the music was to be played up the octave. Uh, what Vivaldi always wrote is you can just see it here. All'ottava alta. There we go. Um, yeah, so so, so uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's a fairly tricky piece, but it's it's really it's really worth getting to know. Um, and there's some beautiful solos such as this. I mean, it's, it's it's really 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 nice piece. I, mean, I can't just I, I can't I can't say really nice enough, can I? Um, and uh, what I have to say, what I, I think the sort of pièce de résistance 
Um, first of all, there's a very beautiful, very beautiful, very simple uh, slow movement um, where Vivaldi has crossed out a um, couple of bars here, bar 10 and bar 11. Um, I, in case uh, this was the result of it being revised for a later performance, I have reinstated them, but in small notes so that anybody that comes to play it can uh, make their own mind up as to whether to include those, those two bars or not. It's just a very simple cantabile solo with a unison violin and viola um, accompaniment. Um, what I think is particularly great about uh, this piece, however, is, I mean, the last movement is just everything that, um, that just Vivaldi does so well. Lots of it's ostinato, incredibly funky. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just brilliant. Have a listen to this. Very, very, very sunny. Um, yeah, I think this is um, yet another concerto that we're going to have to add to the Serenissima repertoire. Hope, hope we're going to be getting some concerts so we can do some of these pieces. But um, yeah, uh, there we go. Um, I think for an aid rating, that gets gets a 10 for me. So there you go. Um, see you tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>